All right, Recliner Sports Reporters, welcome back to Knockout Bets Podcast, brought to you by AnythingDisplay.com. Selling banners, flags, tents, and anything for your business marketing needs. Head on over to AnythingDisplay.com to get your deals today. Today, we're going to be talking about this weekend's fight card, Max Holloway versus the Korean Zombie for a UFC fight night. This card actually has a lot of great matchups on it. Today, we are going to bring you our top four, plus we're going to give you a great value parlay that you do not want to miss, and we are also going to give you our Double Dog Parlay, the one that's going to give you the most bang for your buck. We're also going to give you our knockout bets and give you a rundown on four fights that we think you should keep an eye on, and you might have a chance to win a little bit of money. All right, let's get right into it. The first fight that we are going to talk about is Junior Tafa versus Parker Porter. Now, it should be noted here that Junior's brother, Justin, previously KO'd Parker Porter. I think Parker Porter is an absolute savage. However, Junior is running up the ranks and becoming just a spitting image of his brother. Could you imagine those two fighting? Now, this is a great value here. Junior's coming in at minus 150, and I love every bit of this. Junior Tafa by KO is going to be my pick all right and the next one we're going to look at is aaron blanchfield versus talia santos now i want to be very clear here the fact that aaron blanchfield is only minus 150 you should take that on its own money line by itself throw the run on it this girl is not going to lose this girl is going to be the women's flyweight champion it's not how it is just when when is she going to get that shot? And I'm telling you right now, Aaron Blanchfield is that girl. She is her. So, Talia Santos, great fighter, but Aaron Blanchfield has too many weapons up her sleeve. So, Aaron Blanchfield by sub is going to be my pick for this one. Next up. A fight that we're not going to get too much into, but if we're Looking in terms of value and things that could happen, Alex Caceres is going off at plus 200 against Giga Chikadze. Keep an eye on that one. That could give you a little bit of return on your investment. The next fight we're going to talk about, Anthony Smith versus Ryan Spann. Now, I want to be very clear here. Anthony Smith did not have a great showing in his last fight. A lot of people were saying this guy should retire, but I'm here to tell you and prove you wrong. Anthony Smith is going to win this fight. He is just too good of a fighter and has too many good things going for him. And when he can put everything together, he is one of the best in the divisions. So Ryan Spann, absolute savage, knockout artist, can get it done from any angle in any minute. But Anthony Smith he is going to be our underdog pick of the week. Put your money on it and keep the change. Next up, we have our main event. This is going to be Max Holloway versus the Korean Zombie. This fight, I was shocked to even kind of see that it happened. But Max Holloway, he needs someone to fight. Uh, and as much as we all want to see Volkanovski rematch, I think even Max has come to terms with saying, I just want to fight someone, and then if it comes to where I'm fighting Volkanovski again, great. But I want to just keep kind of working through that division. And the Korean Zombie makes a great matchup. I mean, anytime the Korean Zombie comes into the octagon, you know it's going to be an absolute war. Because of this, this is a large, large spread. So the bet I think you should look at here is Max Holloway by decision. Max is known to go to the decision quite a bit. Korean Zombie is a tough mf i mean the dude literally was getting his face smashed in by volkanovsky and still the ref had to call that one off so 
Max Holloway, by decision, I think that's the bet you're going to want to keep an eye out, and I think that's the one you're going to want to put your money on. All right, now going to our great value parlay. So this is a two-fighter parlay. This is two favorites, but I think these are two favorites that you can parlay together, going to give you pretty good odds, and I think that their value on this side is outrageous that you're even getting it for this low. Okay, these are minus 140 and minus 150. That is Junior Taffa and Aaron Blanchfield bringing you out to a plus 180 parlay. Put the red on it. Thank me later. Keep the change. Next up, we have our double dog parlay. All right, the double dog parlay. These are two guys that... One is going to be a heavy dog, but the other one, I still think, he, even though he's a dog, I think he's going to get this this W. It's not a really big dog, but still an underdog. And that double dog parlay is going to come in at Alex Caceres and Anthony Smith. I think both those guys can round out and get that win, and the double dog parlay is going to come in at plus 500. Keep the change. All right. My KO bet of the week is going to be Junior Taffa. Again, he has four wins all by knockout. And, again, his brother knocked him out. I think he's going to do the same exact thing his brother did. He's going to knock out Junior – or he's going to knock out Parker Porter. Junior Taffa is going to come away with the win. And we're going to win a lot of cash. Thanks again, everyone, for tuning in. We love your support. Keep an eye out for all of our Recliner Sports Report podcasts. We have Keep the Change podcast. We have our knockout bets, and we've just started our college recliner rundown. Go ahead and look at all of our playlists. Like, subscribe, and as always, keep the change. All right, that has been your Knockout Bets podcast. Thank you all so much. Again, brought to you by our sponsor, AnythingDisplay.com. Make sure if you need anything to display your amazing company, you head on over to AnythingDisplay.com today. Thank you, everybody. Good luck. Have fun watching the fights. And as always, keep the change.